Chicago skyscrapers have always been seen as a really important moment in architectural history when art and technology come together and create a completely new building type. We have this collection of artifacts, buildings in Chicago between the Great Fire and the Great Depression that show us not just what the technology was and how the technology evolved, but also what it was like to be an architect or an engineer, a builder, or even an office worker in that era. These buildings are often right up next to buildings from the 21st century, and they show us not just how the skyscraper has evolved and how the technology of building has evolved, but also how the city has grown and evolved and how Chicago of the 1880s has become Chicago of the 21st century. Surveys always talk about technology as being an important part of the skyscraper, but there's never been a survey that goes back and looks really closely at what the materials actually were, who actually built these buildings, what the economics of getting them done were, and, and what the politics were of building high in a city like Chicago at the time. What I've tried to do with the book is to trace these through, to find out what choices faced architects when they sat down at the drawing board, what it was like to be on a job site riveting steel together, and to think about these buildings as emerging from this really complex set of negotiations between economics, politics, technology, all of which come, came together and created this new building type and created a city around them. Architects, of course, were concerned with what the buildings looked like and what style they were in. But there's also a story there about the architect as problem solver and trying to take a program that was often very, very stringent and using the tools that were available at the time, the engineering, the materials, to make that as efficient as, as possible, to get the best possible solution to the problem to hand. And then, of course, to make it look good on the outside. But the problem solving, especially in Chicago, always came first. And that's really what the book tries to focus on, is how the problem solving became the aesthetic for the buildings. Mm -hmm.